All right, hey, what's up? Dalton and Cloud here. So today we're going to be going over another entry level uh, certification. This time we're gonna go hop on over to Microsoft in an MTA certification. Uh, any of the MTA certifications are great, especially if you're trying to go into like that niche field, you wanna prove that you have some knowledge of that, even if it's for a junior position. Um, these these are great. Uh, I, I personally feel that CompTIA is more widely recognized, but there are a lot of people who love Microsoft, a lot of companies, uh, and they're gonna love seeing that you have a Microsoft certification. As soon as it says Microsoft, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, great. So um, especially if, if, you're, if you're trying to apply for companies and you, and you see uh, people are looking for Microsoft certifications, um, you could just type in when you're doing a quick job search, MTA, uh, you can do the actual code. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be the 98-367 uh, or TAC 367. Um, but uh, usually if you just type in MTA, that's what uh, HR is going to put on the uh, posting. Um, without further ado, uh, let's jump in and uh, look at the resources we have available today. All right, so the resources we have for the MTA 98367, aka the Security Fundamentals uh, class, is going to be um, first, we're going to go over Udemy or Udemy. So, this is a course by Alton. This has is the bestseller uh, for this particular course. Um, I don't actually have this course, but uh, I was going over uh, the uh, preview for the course. He seemed pretty straightforward. Uh, what I like about this course uh, from looking at the content, uh, he does cover all the domains, so all four domains uh, for the course, and he goes in depth into that. But on top of that, I noticed he had uh, a lot of labs in here where he actually shows you um, how to like set up different labs and how to, uh, so live demo, he shows you how to set these settings up. So I do like that when they go over and they have uh, lab walkthroughs. Uh, he has quizzes at the end of the different domain sections. So this seems like a pretty straightforward course. This course is uh, also on Udemy. This is just an honorable mention. Uh, this is by Dwayne, um, AKA Master IT. Uh, he does something similar to what I do uh, for helping people be prepared for different certifications. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out, Master IT. Uh, he posts a lot of amazing content. I really love supporting other people uh, in this group. Uh, I, I love seeing people grow and I love it when other people help other people grow. So please check him out, uh, check out his content. Um, he goes over the domains as well um, in his course. Uh, I haven't actually gone through this, so uh, either course uh, on Udemy, but uh, I could tell you right now, uh, Dwayne does a great job with his content he posts for CompTIA Security Plus, so I imagine it's going to be pretty spot on uh, for this. Also, for the domains, a lot of, there's a lot of overlap for the Security Plus and the uh, MTA Security Fundamentals. Um, I, I will say generally... Uh, and what I was kind of leading to before, for the MTA networking and the MTA uh, security fundamentals, there's going to be a lot of overlap between the CompTIA Net Plus and Sec Plus. Um, but I will say, for one, CompTIA is usually going to be more widely recognized, and it's going to go a little... It, they're all entry-level or fundamental, but uh, the CompTIA ones are going to be a little bit more uh, deeper level uh, than, um, than the MTA. MTA certs are really going to be, you know, just scratching the surface, uh, to make sure you know the basics of what you need to do to get the job done. Um, so I, 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 if you're going for a CompTIA already, don't stop. 
However, if you are just trying to stack some certifications on top of one another, the MT certifica MTA certifications are going to be great, especially because a lot of people love Microsoft. And just because it says Microsoft, you'll, you'll get hired for certain positions in certain companies. Um, because they do have to reach a quota for people having a certain amount of associate fundamental certifications. Um, so yeah. Um, next up, going to be a fan favorite. IT Pro TV. I, they, they do an amazing job, Wes. Uh, all, all their instructors do uh, an amazing job here. Um, so this is one of the courses you could get access to. Uh, it's 10 hours and 56 minutes long. They do a, almost every other weekend or so, they'll do free courses. Uh, this is one of the courses they do uh, give out there for free a lot of times. So you, you could... You could either go for the free trial um, on their website, or you could just wait till it's free on the one of the weekends where they do free courses, depending on when they are doing like free security weekend or something like that. They'll do free security weekend, free cloud weekend. Um, uh, I would just look out for that. Um, next up is going to be uh, this book. It's going to be uh, just... Exam 98367, Security Fundamentals. Uh, that I can't really... It has the most ratings. This was a b official from academic course for Microsoft. I can't really endorse this that much just because, uh, as, as you saw before with my previous books I've endorsed, $10, like that, like... I, I can't really endorse this. It's like 30 bucks to rent. Almost 90 bucks to buy new. Uh, the only book book series I would pay that much money for would be an associate level, something like the CCNA. And even for like this, if you look up like the CCNA, like one of the standard books that a lot of people buy, uh, like this by Todd Lamel, uh, that if you get the paperback brand new, it's still going to be 50 bucks. And that's for two books. So I, I, I'm sorry. I, I really can't endorse this um but if, if if you're someone who likes reading and that's like how you ingest uh content i and i talked to one of my coworkers today about this when i was trying to explain um how to get in the mindset for uh taking a lot of certifications throughout the year is find different ways to ingest the content don't do it just one way so do labs break up like training videos um, do tests like quizzes at the end. So like courses like on IT Pro TV or A Cloud Guru are great because they incorporate that into the course. Um, but also read it. Maybe get, uh, look up a book on Audible. Um, do an audio book and then just go to a quiet room, listen to the audio book or read a book. And don't just continuously do one way to address the content. Find different ways so you could break it up so you don't get bored. Okay, so next, uh, you certify, uh, my current, uh, college uses you certify for a lot of their, uh, testing, uh, and a lot of their lab scenarios. I, I, again, we, we try not to endorse a lot that, that's expensive when there's so much cheaper, like so many cheaper resources out there. I can't endorse this. This is for one fundamental course training. For 280 bucks when you could go to CompTIA uh, and you could get a personal plan for a year for $300 for all of their courses uh, it's, it's it's not comparable it's not something I could recommend I could endorse but again everyone has their preferences on where they like to study and what they like to study so I always want to list as much content as I can on there um, and lastly, O'Reilly. O'Reilly is always a fan favorite. It's not my go-to. Uh, my go-to is always going to be Udemy, IT Pro TV, and um, Cloud, A Cloud Guru. Udemy, just because you could kind of pick and choose what kind of instructor you want, uh, their teaching style, and you could get a preview of that before you lock anything down. Um, and then IT Pro TV and A Cloud Guru, just because you get so much variety. Uh, from amazing instructors. Um, but O'Reilly's always been a fan favorite. I 
every single message board on Reddit. I, I, I surf around. Everyone can't express enough how much they love O'Reilly. So this is also going to be um, something we want to look into when studying for this exam. Uh, and you can get a free trial through them as well. Um, and it goes over all the uh, different sections for uh, this exam. But again, uh, IT Pro TV and Udemy, those are going to be my primary endorsements for this certification for the 98367. We're going to be going over a few more uh, security uh, fundamental and entry level certifications in the upcoming weeks. And we're also going to be doing a lab on um, uh, AWS. So uh, a lot of people are getting into blogging uh, with uh, COVID still going around and you know, having a blog, especially if you're getting into IT or cloud, is good. You can uh, keep tr you could keep track of what you've done, uh, the tools you've used, the resources, and you could kind of explain on a technical level what you're doing. And this is uh, helpful in a lot of technical roles that you'll be looking at getting into. Is later on down the line, you will want to be able to explain technical scenarios uh, to anyone who's maybe not from a technical background uh, because you'll be working with project managers and product managers who may not have certain technical knowledge that you do, but you need to explain it to them in a way that they'll understand um, and vice versa. So they'll, they'll have technical things that they need to express to you and you need to know how to decipher that. And just being able to run a blog and decipher uh, and explain what you're doing is helpful as well. Um, and, you know, it helps with your documentation, which it, if you go for any help desk position, that's going to be a big thing is documentation and uh, using the star format. Uh, we'll probably go over a few of those like kind of tidbits as well, knowing what the star format is. Um, because that's using a lot of jobs I've seen lately for help desk roles, uh, or just any sort of position where you're working a support queue. Um, it really helps you identify what's going on with a certain, uh, case or a certain, uh, support ticket. Um, but yeah, other than that, thank you so much. This has been Dalton and Cloud, and we will see you in the next video. You have a great rest of your evening. Bye.